Missoula, I think Missoula is beautiful. It's hard for me to describe it, but there's like many cherished moments here and there's been many opportunities for me here. I, I feel very committed to like what was given to me to like be able to offer that back in some capacity. So I've always been enamored of like things like that are metal wood. And I always thought it'd be cool to be able to like make art out of that. You know, put a light in it and make it into a lamp. That would be pretty cool, right? And um, an opportunity to express myself in a way that I wasn't necessarily used to, but thoroughly engaged to explore. I gotta give props to my roommate Susie, my best friend Susie, because like, you know, when I was first starting out, like, I didn't think that people would like my stuff, and so I just kept it in the house, and she was just like, yo, dude, like, you make beautiful things, like, you should think about showing that to other people. <laughs> what did I like, say before nope. we came out here? I said, thank you so much for being my wingman. Yeah. I love you. I, I adore know. you. I, I really appreciate you coming out I here. I know. I'm missing. I'm missing watching the Falcons beat the Cowboys. That is true love. Ooh. That is. Yeah. She was the one who encouraged me to like join the craft fair. Like, what's the worst that could happen? Nobody buys your shit. <laughs> and that didn't happen. I'm always gonna be that brown kid, trans guy, wannabe snack cake, sci-fi nerd who builds lamps and turns wrench. Who else has been like, held my hand through all the tremendous nerddom? Yeah. <laughs> that we were just like, hey, hey, look at this nerdy thing I found. Let's talk about it for hours on end and drink beer. <laughs> Sonia and Adra had like requested I use some barn wood or some out, like leftover wood from an old outbuilding. Um, they really wanted that as part of their lighting. Um, really, they just wanted that sort of aesthetic of like reclaimed items. I made a piece for them that was like old metal scoops. They were definitely like, we just want a piece of our community in our home. Sadio over there has known me probably quite possibly for the longest. And um, I'm gonna take it back a few years and just be like, when I first met you, I was completely intimidated. <laughs> and I wanted to get to know you so hard. Like, I was just like, who are you? Like, Sonia's a person I want to be as badass some, as someday. You know, like when you grow up and like you see Sonia ride horses, shoot guns, talk to dudes in DC about like forestry management and like get shit done, like possibly all in a pantsuit with a shotgun, you know, like. <laughs> She's that kind of person. Somebody that I would that I would hope to make proud of someday. You guys are always our rock. Like whenever we're having a hard time, we always come and find sanctuary with you guys. I know I'm all this like water. water. <laughs> 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 oh, but it's like such an honor to have your work in our house. You know, we we've really worked hard to get like not just Montana, but you know, history in our house and to have friends in our house. You know, really, really try my best to be the most honest with myself and honest with others, as authentic as I could possibly be. You guys have always been there for us, and it's so great to have you here and to have you in our house permanently. I'll choose to that. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Like, out of all the things that, you know, I worked hard for, it was nice to be acknowledged for, for the thing that's sort of like, a, like, like my secret joy, you know? It's always been about whether or not I belong in this community or in a community, and um, it's categorically yes. Yes. So. Well, I belong. We work so hard to, like, make our homes. We work so hard to, like, be the people we are. And it's like, it's... I don't, I don't want to say it's a luxury, but it's like the best thing ever when you find people who can share that with you. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure I would not give that up without a bite. Like, a dance bite, at least. A dance bite. Don't make me break his beer bottle. That's right. Uh. <laughs>